Typically, you might have a bill jam or some other problem with your dispenser. First thing you want to do, if you have one of those error codes, is you're going to open up your dispenser. You're going to pull your dispenser out and just look for bills. If you don't see any visible bills, what you're going to do is go into diagnostics. <clears throat> yes. Once it's in diagnostic mode, it takes a minute. You're going to go to auxiliary units. You're going to go to the sensors, this the sensors that are on the dispenser. And you'll hit the sensor. Go to diagram of the dispenser with green buttons. If it's all green, then you should be okay. If anything is in red and you look down and you don't see the corresponding <clears throat> bills, these sensors over here or up front underneath this group of wires, the next group of sensors would be back here. Uh, as you cover them up, you'll see the components go red. see so if you don't see bills or a piece of a bill you want to clean those you'll get a damp cloth with rubbing alcohol and basically you're going to clean those two eyeballs and right above it the other side of the sensors and then you're going to wrap them around your fingers and go underneath this one here and clean both sides of those um, <clears throat> If one of these are red, that means your cassette's not in all the way, or the jam might be in the back of the cassette. Let's take a look at the cassette. Open the cassette up and make sure that there's not a folded bill in front or crumpled up. And then the last sensor you'll be checking would be down here, you push on that little lever. You'll take your damp cloth. Once that's down, and then just give it a nice little wipe. And hopefully, that should take care of your problem. To get into this diagnostic mode, call the office and they'll give you the proper password to uh, get into that portion of diagnostics.